Math 8, Week 2. Here we go. Uh, so there's a couple different parts to this. So I'm going to walk through each part. Um, you're going to have four assignments, including an end of the week uh, form that you need to fill in. Uh, there's some extra resources as well. Uh, so step one, I'm in the post here, and Mrs. De Rosario has posted some instructions here. She tells you to click on Video Lessons, which is right over here on the side. You click on Video Lessons and Notes, and you're going to look for the one that's labeled 427. You're going to click on that. It's going to open up a new tab. Here is the video. You just watch this video, and she gives you all the instructions okay, on how to do this. About. So once you're done, you can click your X, go back to here, okay? We're gonna go back to the general tab, all right? And she has some YouTube videos here with the calculator if you need additional help. You don't have to watch these if you don't need the help, okay? Then if you scroll down, here are the assignments. So there are three little homework assignments. Let's look at the first one, page seven homework. Click view assignment. Okay, and this one, using a calculator, identify each number as rational or irrational. So for this one, we're going to click on the Word file. It's going to open up right here in your window. You click Edit in Document, Edit Document, Edit in Browser. It's going to refresh here. You're going to let it load in all of the questions. Might take a little bit. All right, so then for each one of these, you're just going to highlight your answer. Okay. Or if you can't figure out the highlighter, you can just put an X in front of it. So if this was rational, you just do boom. Or if it's irrational, you can just do boom, like that. Or if you want, you can highlight your answer and then click the little uh, highlighter here and choose a color and highlight it. If you want to take it off, you just highlight it again and change from yellow to no color and it takes it off. So either way, once it's all done, same thing for these. You can just highlight which answer you want. Uh, highlight which answer you want. I'm not saying these are right. I'm not really reading them. Just showing you how to do it. If you want to take it off, change it back to no color. Once that's done, click close. Click the purple turn in button. All right, we're going to click back. Check out the next assignment, page eight homework. We're going to click on that. This one says use a calculator to identify rational or irrational numbers. So we click this one. All right. This one says use the Desmos calculator. So you're actually going to close this out and click over here to scientific calculator. And there's a link right here. We're going to right click on the link, open in new tab. And now in our new tab, we have our scientific Desmos calculator right there. We're going to go back. Sorry. We're going to go back to the general tab, find that page eight homework, click view assignment. All right. It's going to open up in Word again. Every time we get a Word document, we have to click Edit in Browser so that we can type into it. All right, once it loads fully and all the numbers load, all right, we're going to use the calculator to determine if it's rational or irrational. So I go over my calculator. The first one is 61 pi. Type in 61 pi. There's my answer that tells me whether it's rational or irrational. And then I just put an X there or I put an X there. One of the two, depending on the answer. So you fill in this chart with rational or irrational. Use the calculator if you need to. Once you're done, click close, click turn in. Next assignment is page 10 and 11 homework. Okay, We're going to click on the Word file again. It might look funky right now. Don't worry. When you click Edit in Browser, it all fixes itself, and it looks nice and pretty. All right, so this one, you just read the statements and put an X in the box. Here, you can do the same thing. You can use that calculator if you need it. You got it on that other tab, and you're just Xing rational or irrational. When you're done, click Close, click Turn In. The last assignment for the week is the assessment, week two. We click on that. This one opens in a form, so we just click on the form. And then you just read each question and choose your answer, rational or irrational, and then click submit. When you click submit, that turns it in. There's no turn in button for that part of it. Once you've done those four things, you've completed your math assignments for the week.